Ugh. I'm bored, boys. I'm a little bit bored too, Silver. I mean, I know now that we're married and everything and we can do anything we want, but I don't really know what to do, honestly. I don't know either. Yeah, me either, either. I guess I could just go try to find something to watch on TV. Let me check. <clears throat> nope. 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 Nothing. Um, Silver, is it okay if I can go hang out with some of my other friends? Yeah, sure, go ahead. I'm gonna keep channel sliding. Nope, 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 nope. Well, uh, have fun with that. <clears throat> Alright, bye. Nope, 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 nope. Why am I even watching TV? Who watches TV anymore? We have we have channels like uh, we have applications like Netflix. Uh, there we go. Ah, there we go. <sighs> oh. Oh, I've been holding in that secret for so long from the silver. It's killing me. I really need to tell someone. I'm gonna tell my friends. Mm -hmm. Secret. What secret she could be possibly hiding from me? Ugh. I'm her husband. What kind of thing she would have to keep from me? It's not like I've done anything wrong or she hadn't done anything wrong. I knew she would never do anything wrong. She's trustworthy, so I would never she would never break trust against us. She would never just lie or any, do anything to me, really. Because I don't think so. Hmm. Well, now that that just happened, it's probably going to be on my mind for the rest of the day. You know what? I'm going to ignore it. Hmm, let's see here. Mm -hmm. No, it's on my mind. Hey, what's up? What's up, my good old buddy Silver? Uh, hey, Victor. What's wrong? Uh, just, uh, nothing really. Yeah, Silver, you can tell us anything. Yeah, what's up, Dad? Well, if you have to know... Blaze just said something very suspicious over there and when she, before she left, and now it's on my mind. Hmm, interesting. What do you think it could be? Oh, hopefully not anything bad. I mean, I haven't done anything wrong. I mean, I mean I've mean, i been very nice to her, and I treat her well. I don't think there's anything about breaking up with me, do you think? Nah, I don't think anything like that. Maybe just a, I don't know. Maybe she's having an affair or something. Vector, don't think like that. Think positive things. Maybe she's saying something like very positive things, like maybe getting you a birthday present. My birthday already passed. Well, maybe it's, uh, I don't know, an anniversary gift? Or anniversary already passed? Hmm. Jeez, a lot of things relating to you two passed already, huh? Pretty much, so I don't know what it could be. <clears throat> well, we could scope it out for you. You know, go a little spying just to see what it is. I don't have any money. Nah, nonsense. Consider it a favor for you. No money needed. Really? Huh, thanks guys, you're the best. No problem. All right, well, I would say this is a bad idea, but I know there's no talking you out of it. Nope, so let's just get it over with. Would you stop picking me up? I can walk myself, I'm a grown man. Later, Dad. <sighs> okay, well. Let's just hope it's not anything bad. Hmm? Yeah. You almost blew our cover. Look over there. Thanks for coming over, Blaze. Somebody that you wanted to talk about. Something very personal that I just want to tell someone to get off my chest. Alright then, who will tell us. Yeah, Blaze. You can tell us anything. Agreed. Well, uh, I don't know. It's uh, kind of personal. And I don't really know if I'm ready. Come on, dear. You can tell us anything. Well, okay. You see... I can't hear what they're talking about. Let's move a little closer. This close enough, Vector? Yep. Alright, let's keep hearing it. Wow, 
Wow, really? I never would have guessed that. I know. Ah, uh, we missed it. Maybe one of the other ones will repeat it. Vector, I can have to sneeze. Can you hold it in? We're pretty close to falling right now. I don't know if I can. Charmy, you better not sneeze. <laughs> I'm holding in my sneeze. Vector, maybe we just should have abandoned this mission. No way! We've never abandoned a mission before. We've got to keep looking. But don't you think this is kind of wrong, spying on girls? Well, not if it was a job. I mean... Well... Actually, you're kind of right. So, so, should we just leave? Well, what about Silver? I mean, he's our friend. We can't let him down. <sighs> well, you're right about that. Fine, let's just stay for a few more minutes just to see if anything happens. Okay. So, are you ever going to tell Mr. Silver? I wish I could, but it's... Well, it's, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how he'll react or feel after I tell him. After all, I've been hiding the scent for about like a, a year now, so... What if he's crushed that I never told him? Well, you can't hide it forever, Blaze. You gotta tell him eventually. Yeah, and trust me, I know how you feel. I've been holding in secrets. Sure, it's not exactly a good thing, but sometimes it could be a bad thing, but for a right reason. And I don't think you can keep this for very long. Eventually, you can get out. <sighs> You're right. Can one of them just repeat what she said? <laughs> no, Charmy, do not sneeze. Try not to. <laughs> what the? What the? Vector? Jarmy? Espio? What are you doing here? Um, sightseeing? Uh, see, I was a little bored, so I took the boys out for a little sightseeing trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Uh, on God, no cap. Or whatever people are saying these days. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. Guys, just tell them the truth. Fine, we were trying to see what you were doing. That's a little weird. Well, wait, uh, Silver wanted us to. He what? Well, you overheard you talking about your secret, which I don't even know what it is. So he told us to go try to look at you to see what you were doing. None of the rest of you, though, because, well, I don't really know why. Oh, does he know what it is? No, and I don't even. Yeah, by the way, what is that secret, Mommy? Uh, that is none of your concern, Charmy. Come on, Blaze. You can tell us anything, man. I mean, we're your friends. I just associate you with being roommates. I, well, well we've known each other for a while, haven't we? We're practically friends. <sighs> Fine, I'll tell you what it is, but you better promise to not tell Silver. But that defeats the whole purpose of coming here in the first place. Just, just listen to her, Vector. Let's just get this over with so we can go home. <sighs> Fine. What is a secret anyway? <sighs> Whoa. That's, uh, pretty long and very unexpected. <laughs> what is it? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Mind blown. Oh. And what is it? Hmm. Very interesting. How do you have the most calm reaction to this? Because I am the most calm person in this group. Uh, he has a point. I guess so. So when are you going to tell Mr. Silver? I know you can, Blaze. I'm sure you have the courage to. But it's just so personal and I don't know how he'll react to it. Well, you don't have to tell him if you don't want to, but in case you do, just to let you know, we all support your decision, okay? Thank you. I think I'm gonna go home now. Wow, cool. Can we go home now? I guess so. Well, while you're here, you want some tea? <laughs> yes, please. Later. Nope, still no channels. Hey, Vector. So, did you guys find out what it was? Uh, yeah. Cool, so what is it? Uh, 
It's a uh, private business. <laughs> private business? But the whole point I sent you guys out there was so you could find out what it was. I know, I know, but we made a pinky promise and it's just, oh, uh, pinky promises are very personal to me. I never break a pinky promise. Very true. I heard if you break a pinky promise, you go straight to heck. It's in the Bible. I don't think that's a thing, but hey, just in case, yeah. I thought I'd never say this. But you guys are no help! Well, that's just hurtful, man. Eh, I don't take it personal. Dad, why would you say that? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Charmy. Uh, I'm sorry, I just let my anger get the best of me. Fine, okay. You guys are very helpful sometimes, but not in this scenario, okay? Is that better? Sure. All right. Well, okay. <sighs> I've had enough of this. I'm asking Blaze what it is. I'm tired of this. This cannot end well. Come on, boys. Would you stop picking me up like that? Silver, I'm home. <laughs> what is it? Excuse me? It's been eating me inside all day long. I'm sick and tired of this. Silver, what is it? What is your secret? Um, secret? Don't you play with me. I heard you talking, and I know what your secret is. I mean, I don't, but I know you're hiding one from me. And you will tell me now. Silver, it's very private information, and I have the right to keep it from you. I'm your husband. I'm the man in the house, and as the man in the house, I demand you tell me. Are you dating other guys? No, never! Then what is it, Blaze? I can't tell you. <sighs> Please. We've known each other for a long time, okay? Please just tell me what it is. I'll understand. I won't get mad. But what you have to do is tell me. Uh, I don't know if I can. Please. <gasps> Girls, what are you doing here? Encouraging you. Tell him. Blaze. Please tell me. But what if you never forgive me? Well, what if everything changes after this? What if you can never trust me again? Blaze, nothing that you could tell me would change my life in a giant way. That's where I'm afraid you're wrong. What? Tell me, Blaze, please. I I'm begging you. I... I, I... <laughs> That's all right. Go ahead. You can keep it to yourself. It's none of my business anyway. Silver, wait. Hmm? What? I... Um... Silver? Yes. I... I... Uh, I'm not infertile! There! You heard it! I said it! There! Are you well? Are you happy now? Huh? What are you talking about, Blaze? You're, you're infertile? That's why you can't have children. You, that's why you adopted Charmy. What do you mean? We went to the doctors and everything. I lied! I got the doctor to lie. I lied about everything! What? Silver, listen, about a year ago, one year ago, we were at the doctor's. Okay, what is it you need? Well, we would like to know why my ch my wife or girlfriend, I don't know anymore, are we married yet? No. Oh, well, I keep thinking we are. Anyways, um, I want to know why my girlfriend can't have a child. That's it? Alright, well, I can figure that out for you. <laughs> Just need a sample real quick. Where can I take a sample? Ha! Ow! Sorry. I'm gonna take a sample and I'm gonna run for the test. I'm gonna go try to find a bathroom or something to eat or whatever. I'm just trying to find some excuse to go. That's fine. I'll wait. <clears throat> Alright. 
I figured out the test, and it turns out you just haven't been trying hard enough for something. Hmm, interesting. Listen, doctor. Yes? Can you do me a favor? Sure, what? Can you tell a lie, please? I'm not much of a lying man, but I, I can tell a lie. What is it? Listen, my boyfriend's a really nice guy, and I don't know if he'll handle things like these, but can you tell him that I'm infertile? You mean the thing where you can't have a baby? Yes. Why would you want to do that? Because I've been hearing a lot of stories about how having a child may sound great at first, but then it's a complete nightmare. And teenage years is annoying. And then there's the terrible twos or something where the child turns into a complete demon or something. And I don't know if I want to go through that, so can you can you please tell him? Well, what's in it for me? I don't know, a dog treat or whatever you want. All right. Oh, here he comes. Ah, <clears throat> oh, glad I found something to eat and use the bathroom at the same time and got a drink. Anyways, doctor, what's up? Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but the reason that your girlfriend can't have, have um, a child is because she's infertile. Oh. Oh, dear. Hmm. Is that true? Yeah. Sorry to break getting you this breaking news, but if you need anyone to talk to, call someone else. I lunch break! <sighs> oh, now I'm sad. It's okay, Silver. We can try to find other options for a child. Like what? Mm, adoption, maybe? Well, I suppose I can work. Okay, then. <clears throat> Let's go. And that's what happened. Blaze. Why? Because all those stories just sounded like an absolute nightmare. I didn't want to go through all of it, but most of all, I did it because of you. See, Silver, I love you more than anything, and I would hate for you to go through such an nightmare fuel so I lied okay I know it was a bad thing and I, I'm sorry Blaze don't cry it's okay I understand I was afraid of the same thing really yeah I was worried about all the horror you were gonna go through so when I heard you were infertile sure I was sad but I was almost kind of relieved too Sure, having a child of our own would be nice, but adoption was another good option, too. I mean, we ended up with our wonderful son, Charmy. Thank you! But, Blaze, instead of lying, you should have just told me. I mean, I would have understood. But it sounded so horrible, and I didn't know. Blaze, it's okay. Plus, some of those are myths, anyway. Are you sure? Yeah, I mean... I read them in the book. There's no such thing as a terrible twos. Sure, the teenage years are gonna be a little bit of a pain, but together we can overcome it. I know we can. Really? You're not mad? I'm not mad, but I'm disappointed. But that doesn't stop me from loving you. Really? Absolutely. Thank you, Silver. Hmm. I promise no more lying. I'll tell you everything, okay? Okay. Hmm. Yay! She did it! Yay! Let's go! Good work, dear. Yeah, agreed. So now that I know I'm not infertile, what do we do? I don't know. Well, we could make a baby of our own. Hint, hint. Ooh, meow, Silver. Mm. Wait! <laughs> did they just do what I think they did? Nope. Name is John C. Let's go! Mm. Looks like I finally win wrestling.
Whatever. You got lucky. Sure I did. Oh, I love you. Love you too. Well, I think we should be leaving. Give you guys some privacy if you know what I'm saying. Agree. Come on, let's go. Bye. So what were we talking about before we wrestled? Mmm, I don't know. It slipped my mind. You were talking about making out. Mmm. Whoa! Mm, sure, we can do that. Or we could do more. Like what? <laughs> oh, okay. We can watch TV!